we did a short little bottle hunt this morning, maybe only about a half an hour. Went down to the ravine at uh, bottle dump number two, which is the uh, later dump. Um, I think it's probably from 1930, 40 in there, on up to 1960 something. Uh, one thing I did get that I didn't have was a uh, Clorox bottle, and it's a cork top. Uh, has the uh, design all over it. So even though that's a pretty common bottle, that's the first one I've found. Um, this one here, even though it's broke, it does have the uh, bottling works from the uh, town that I live in, and it doesn't have anything else on it, so I'm not sure exactly what was in it. There was probably something on the bottom. I did not say Coca-Cola, so it had something else, but you can see that it's all chipped off. So I brought that home just because it is a local bottle. Uh, one more bottle I got that I was happy with is this one here. It says Buffalo, New York. And it says Wild Root Company Incorporated. Now this is a screw top. And it probably had paper labels here. So that kind of tells me it's a little bit older. Um, I want to say 1930s, 1940s in that range. It does have bubbles in it. Um, this one here, I walked that ravine, and since we've had so much water, it's really it has washed some stuff out. But this one here was laying in the in the ash. There's a big uh, ash uh, debris field there. And just this ridge was sticking out. So I rubbed the dirt off of it, and I could just see that it was uh, had two panels here. So I just started kind of digging around it, and I couldn't even see that it had words on it had, with so much dirt on it. But I went ahead and just kept kind of digging around it to where I could get the shape of it. And then I felt that it had this uh, top still on it. So I pulled it out, and it's whole. It's whole if I don't break it. Uh, one other find. The absolute tiniest little bottle that I found. One and a half inches tall. It's about a quarter of an inch wide, I think. Absolutely nothing on it, of course, because it's so tiny. But just a little vial. And a... a I love these tiny little bottles, and that is the littlest one I've found so far. So hopefully we're going to be going again over the next three days, and uh, hopefully we can find something good.